Welcome! This video will provide an overview of how to publish original material as a CUBES resource out of a group on CUBES. Note there are other publishing contexts like adapting a resource or creating a new version that are not covered in this video. So to begin, we are at the CUBES homepage and the first thing you need to do is log in. Only logged in users can publish resources on CUBES and that login is always in the upper right corner. Logging in will bring you to your dashboard where you can see the My Groups modules. If the group you would like to publish from is not in your recent list, you can click All. I am going to publish out of the Cultivating Scientific Curiosity group. Now you might be publishing from a group that looks like this, uh, situated in CubesHub, or a partner group that looks more like its own website. Either way, the publishing process is the same. Within groups, the publishing process takes place in a project, which is a small workspace where you can collaborate with others and create new versions of material. Projects are in the left menu of a group. So click projects. Now you might need to set up the project you would like to publish from. If that's the case, click add project. If the project you'd like to work from is already set up, just choose that project from the list. I'm publishing from staff resources. Then you will land at the project homepage. Once at the project, we suggest uploading any content that you will use as material in the resource to the project repository before beginning the publishing process. Again, that is in the left menu. So go ahead and click that. Now this repository is empty, and if you are collaborating with others or plan to publish multiple resources from this project, we do suggest organizing the repository by creating new folders. Then open the folder and upload any files you will be including as content in your resource. To do this, you just click Upload, then click or drop File. Then you will be able to choose files from your computer. I'll select several here, then click Open. Then Upload Now. Great, now the files are uploaded to the project and ready to go when I begin publishing. Now I will go to the left menu of the project and click Publications. And I am going to start a new resource, the green button in the right corner. The majority of users will be publishing a CUBES resource. Now we are in the publishing process. So you can see here we're still in the project space. I have this publication going that's an untitled CUBES resource draft. And then the different aspects of publishing are in these tabs, content, description, authors, extras, license, tags, notes. The process will move you right through that to submission. So first we start with resource content. You can add any file type, pretty much any file type, to a publication. To do that, you'll click Add a File and then open your staff or your project name repository. Then I see the folder I just set up in there, and I will select the files I've added. Uh, when I'm ready, I'll click Save Selection. If you forget a file, you can do a quick upload. It's important to upload the file and then select it and then save to add the file as content. Once added, you can change the name of the file as well. External links can also be added as content. So if your resource uh, exists elsewhere, you can just add the URL. You can also add other cubes resources as content. You can open that by selecting resources and then searching or scrolling for the resource that is content. 
it is unlikely that you'll be including cubes databases as content. Click Next. Now you'll describe your resource. This is very important as the title and abstract are the only things most users see when browsing resources. So you want to provide a descriptive, unique uh, title and abstract so people know exactly what your resource is about. I am not going to follow my own advice here for the sake of brevity. Now the resource description is a full editor and it has much more space so you can add additional context, teaching notes, um, links to material that might not be suitable as content. Um, you can format this space as well so you can really expand upon what the resource is. Now users will not see this unless they click onto the resource record. Okay, let's click next. Now we can add authors to the resource. So to do that, click select authors. And then this is another benefit of working in a project. If your collaborators are already team members in the project, you can just select them from this list and add them. If you're collaborating with people who do not have Cubes accounts or who are not in this project, that's just fine. Again, click select author. Then add an author at the bottom where it asks you if they're not in the team. You can see if they have a Cubes account by starting to type their name in the search bar. If they do, go ahead and select them and this content will auto populate. If they don't, just enter the first name, last name, and institution manually and then click add author. Once you have the authors added, you can drag to reorder them. You can also edit their information. It is important that all authors are uh, aware that you are publishing this material because you will be choosing a license for it and agreeing to the terms of use. So all collaborators do need to agree to those uh, terms. Click Next. In the extras, you should add an image because it will appear in the resource card around the site. Again, it's what most people will be seeing along with the title and abstract. I'm going to select um, this image that I have uploaded and save. Uh, we do not suggest putting any supporting docs here. You should put all files in as content. Okay, I'm going to click next. Now you will select a license for the use of your materials. This is very important. Uh, we have Creative Commons licenses available on the Cubes platform. We do strongly suggest that before selecting a license, you show all of the information. This is the human readable information telling you what uh, others are free to do with this material if you choose this license along with the terms. The default uh, Cubes license is the Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International, and you can see these different restrictions. So share alike means others have to use the same license when they adapt your material or use it. Non-commercial restricts commercial use. And no derivatives does not allow for derivatives of the work. We really don't suggest those licenses. They are available to you, but we uh, do adhere to the open educational resource philosophy of making work available for others to use, uh, adopt, and adapt. So you'll select your license and then save. Then the, the terms auto-populate and you will click next. Tagging your resource is very important so that others can find your work. Uh, multiple types of material around cubes can be tagged. So users, groups, collections, resources are all tagged. So when people search by that keyword or that tag, they will get results uh, with everything tagged that way. So if you see an arrow under an ontology, that means there are sub tags. So you'll select that and open up these sub tags. So if I select teaching material and then audience level, I can choose my audience level, instructional setting with the type of setting it is in, activity length, and then the length of the activity. There are uh, three other tagging ontologies on cubes that are the Inclusive Pedagogy for Life Science, the CUBE's Universal Design Tagging Ontology, and the Open Science and Education Practices. 
If these tags uh, apply to your material or the teaching practices in them, please do select those. There are definitions for the terms uh, that will appear in a black box when you hover over the term. Finally, you can enter keywords if the tag you'd like is not in the ontology. This is really important for the topic of the material. So just begin typing and then select a close match if available. If not, you can generate a new tag. Click Next. For original material, you will not have change notes. That is for adaptations and versions. Now you're ready to review your resource. So you can view the resource page as it will appear published. We really recommend that you do that to take a look and make sure everything looks correct. You can even test out downloading your material and then just scroll through the complete resource record. You'll get a citation there uh, and then you can see that the resource is connected automatically to the group we are publishing from. If everything looks okay, we'll return to the staff resource, uh, your project page. Check that all your contents in the bundle. A DOI will be given to the resource. You can skip the posting date and just let it set to immediate publication. And there's no need to leave any comments as Cube's resources are published immediately. Again, it's important that you read the Cube's terms of use around publishing specifically, as well as your other authors. Everyone should agree to that, and then you'll submit draft and your resource will be published.